creepy. Be nice. Hi everyone! In this video my new rescued neutered male guinea pig Pedro is introduced to my three female piggies. So in case you missed it, check out our last video where we brought Pedro home from the RSPCA. Now he's finally home, let the introductions begin. We're setting up a neutral territory with Heidi's and lots of hay that is pretty much the whole of our front room. Having a large neutral space is a good idea for whenever you are introducing guinea pigs. So with all that set up, let's grab the pigs and see what happens. First Roxy and Phoebe go in, my two young sister pigs. Then in goes Lyra, my senior girl. And finally, here's Pedro! And really, not that much happened at first. In fact, the girls totally blanked him. That was until Phoebe and Lyra decided to dig out their own tunnel system in the fleece underneath him. I had to give him a little bit of encouragement to start exploring and get himself noticed by the girls. Once Pedro plucked up the courage to say hello, Phoebe was in love! <laughs> she started following him everywhere and trying to sniff him at every opportunity, which to be honest he wasn't too pleased about. So as you can probably tell, Pedro was a bit overwhelmed by meeting the three girls all at once and was really quite shy around them. So much for being the alpha male, huh? <laughs> but at least we hadn't seen any aggressive behaviour, so I was really hopeful that the bonding was going well. Oh, I hope. That's how he's hear it. That's an aggressive thing, the hiss. Who's doing it? I think it's Roxy. Yeah, it is. He's being submissive. It turns out that Roxy wasn't going to get him, but she was very much on her guard and warning him not to come any closer. Fortunately, things calmed down a bit after that and we had the same inquisitive, harmless behaviour from the girls, with Pedro basically trying to stay out of their way. And then we had a little bit of an altercation with Phoebe and Pedro. Phoebe basically wanted the bed and whilst it looks super aggressive and I was certainly freaked out, Pedro quickly got out of the situation and no harm was done. 
A few hours on and things are looking pretty good, especially when some tasty grass came on the scene. Pedro, of course, was still a little bit wary and sat himself away from the girls. So it's a bit later on in the day now and given the sort of lack of confrontation that I've seen, which in some ways is a good thing, but in other ways it makes me worry that they've not established that hierarchy that they should be doing. And especially the almost fights between Roxy and Pedro, um, they worry me as well. There's something unresolved going on there. So what we've decided to do is to keep them out longer and um, just reduce the space a little bit. Um, we basically had the whole room to begin with, so... Pedro was staying out of their way and sort of almost established his own little bit of uh, in the carpet section. And now I've set up the CNC grids and reduced that area. So hopefully they'll have to come into contact with each other a little bit more and hopefully it will be in a friendly way. <laughs> really surprising that Roxy has come across as the most aggressive and most confrontational of the three. I expected Lyra to not really get involved, which she hasn't. Phoebe, I thought, would get involved, and she definitely has in that she's been following him round, and they had that moment in the slipper snug. A few people asked me how old Pedro is, and the honest answer is I'm really not sure. The RSPCA just said age unknown, and they didn't add anything else to that. So from my own kind of checking him over, I think he's not young. Um, his nails on his toenails and his front feet are kind of thickened, which you get with age, and they're curling over on his front feet, even though they're short, which is another sign of being a little bit older. But he feels very chunky and sort of in his prime weight-wise and, and kind of muscle mass that he's got. So I would say he's maybe somewhere between two and three years old, possibly closer to three years old. But if he's older than that, then, you know, we've rescued him. This is going to be for his forever home and age doesn't really matter we're just going to try and give him the best home possible and hopefully get him to bond with these three another question i got asked was about the adoption process so i'll just say a little bit about this briefly it does vary wherever rescue you get them from obviously the rsbca has more kind of stringent measures in place so they had a special form that i, I had to download fill in and email to that particular branch and and then they actually just called me and asked me more questions from my form. So the information I had to give for the guinea pigs was about uh, what pets I've got already, what size cage the guinea pigs live in, whether there was any other people or children living with me, and an option to add any other information really. So it was really quite brief and straightforward, but I did have a bit more of an in-depth chat with them on the phone. They spoke about how I was going to try and bond them and how I thought they would get on living in the same cage together. And they were just really putting out feelers to see how much I knew about guinea pigs and uh, whether I'd be a good owner for Pedro, I guess. So what happened after that was they said Pedro had to go into the vets for one last visit, which is a sort of standard procedure they have. And then they rang me back after that and said he got the all clear, he's in perfect health and can we arrange to go and collect him and when we got to the center they just took our carrier box away with them and then brought it back with one Pedro. Roxy you're making me nervous. Okay, that was a that was an okay interaction. So I don't know whether you heard that on camera, but when Roxy came close, Pedro did a sort of submissive noise and she thought, mm, okay, and then wandered away again. <laughs> so, so far it is looking like Pedro is quite submissive. And in some ways, I'm really not sure whether he knows how to be and how to behave around them, which makes me doubt whether he has been with any other guinea pigs. And I thought about this and thought, hmm, yeah, usually with rescue piggies, especially if they've come from a hoarding situation or a breeding situation, they have scars to indicate that they've been in fights with other guinea pigs. Because obviously in those kind of situations, the owners aren't taking responsibility for them and they will probably more likely have big groups of guinea pigs together and not keep a check on fights and things like that. 
Pedro doesn't have any scars like that. His ears are perfectly intact and I sort of think maybe he was kept as a lone piggy and then the owners decided they didn't want him anymore, which would sort of explain maybe how he is confident around people if he was around people a lot, but he's not confident at all around other guinea pigs. So it's interesting really, and we've been talking all day, like what could it be, what we don't know about his history and things like that. But yeah, so for this evening, we're going to reduce the cage size. I might reduce it a little bit more further on into the night and we'll just monitor how they get on. If there's any confrontations, I will try and get them on camera for you guys. We had a few more minor incidents with either Phoebe or Roxy being aggressive towards Pedro. Phoebe again when she ended up sat in the bed with him. Be nice. <laughs> okay. She just kicked him out of the bed, that's alright. But in spite of that, it's looking good and I'm hopeful that Pedro can go in the cage with the girls. But that's for another video and I might make it into a bit of a Q&A. So if you have any questions you'd like me to answer on guinea pig bonding or just guinea pig behaviour in general, then just pop them in the comments below and I'll choose some to include in the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you very soon. Bye bye!